Before you know it, you've developed this, this incredibly deep, powerful, meaningful relationship with yourself through the process of dating yourself. This is The Deep Dive with Adam Roa. Deep Divers, thank you for joining me for another episode of The Deep Dive Podcast. Today it's you and me going into a deep dive musing, going into the topic of dating yourself because dating yourself will lead to self-love if you do it right. <laughs> and if you have more self-love, you will um, have more of everything that you want because everything's gonna reflect that love back to you. So you want more financial abundance, great. If you want more romance in your life, awesome. If you want more collaboration opportunities and um, deeper friendships, great. Those are all of that, everything I just said, is going to be the result of deeper levels of self-love that you can develop through dating yourself. And so that's the topic for today's musing. And before I dive into that, I want to let you know that I've just released a new video course. It is called, It Starts With You, Self-Love Made Simple. I think you, I think you know what that's about, right? <laughs> I make self-love simple. And I did this because I keep getting these questions. How do I love myself more? How do I love myself more? And I decided to poll my social media and I got hundreds of responses of what is the question? Like, what is your number one burning question about self-love? And I took all of these questions and I made the course based on those. So it's not what I think you should know. It's actually, what do you want to know? What are people really struggling with? And the course will answer those things with videos that are about five minutes long that you can watch really simply each day. And there's exercises to go with each video that you can do and, and begin this process. Begin this process. Or if you've been in this process, you can deepen it. Because getting to know yourself and learning to love yourself um, is the key to everything that you want. It's the key to living the life of your dreams. And um, so I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to actually have a course that you can go through um, to support you in this. So you head over to adamroa.com if you want to take that course. And um, yeah, begin, begin this this journey of dating yourself more deeply. Because um, what it means to me to date myself, what does it actually mean? It means, one, to get to know myself. It also means to listen to myself. It also means to put energy into um, honoring what I want and what I like. Just like every other relationship every other relationship in your life. If you want um, to deepen that relationship, you get to um, listen, you get to take action, you get to be sensitive, you get to be fun and playful. And the relationship with yourself is no different. This is where it gets kind of um, weird in a way that we can understand how to invest time into developing a relationship with others, other people. And yet when it comes to ourselves, we, we don't put in that same time. We don't put in that same energy. We don't um, invest in ourselves in that way. And so why is that? Why is it that so consistently we um, treat ourselves differently than we would treat a complete stranger that we just started dating? <laughs> Why is it that we're so much more likely to pour love into someone else and say nice things in moments of sadness, what they're, what they're going through something hard, and yet when it comes to us, we can be going through something hard and be judging ourselves and say, snap out of it. What is wrong with you? You shouldn't be feeling this. And... um. If we can shift our perspective and recognize that we are in relationship with ourselves, in each and every moment, we are in a relationship with ourselves and we can deepen that relationship. We can learn to fill that relationship up with, with whatever we want. What, what do we want that relationship to look like? Do we want it to be fun and playful? Do we want it to be steamy and sexy? Do we want it to be um, mentally stimulating? 
Well, if we get to design it. And really the key to that is in um, the effort and the intentionality around it. Because here's the thing, self-love is a result. It is, it is the um, result of your relationship with yourself. It's like you put these things into this relationship with yourself and it spits out a result. And that result is self-love. Because self-love is a spectrum. Meaning, on a scale of one to 100, how much do you really love yourself? Truly, how much do you really love yourself on a scale of one to 100? And understand that that, that number that you just said, and if you haven't, if you haven't said a number yet, think about it. On a scale of one to 100, just, just instinctually, what, how much do you love yourself? And from that, that, that number, understand that that is a result of your relationship with yourself. And because it's a scale, it's a sliding scale, there's going to be some days that you might love yourself a 12 and other days you might love yourself an 85. And there's an average. Like there, there is a, okay, right, like on most days, if I, if I took my last year and I averaged it out, it's this number. And if I want to deepen that, if I actually want to improve that number and make it go higher, I get to, to invest in myself and date myself and put in all of the same effort that I would put into getting to know someone new and um, reignite the passion for myself. As a result of that, that number increases. You see, with self-love, so many people look at it like I either do or I don't. It's a, not a light switch. I, I, it's either on or it's off. I love myself or I don't. It, it's not that simple. Think about um, people that you love in your life, your friends, your family, your romantic partnerships. If, when you think about that, that love that you have in your life, is it an on-off switch? No, it's sometimes I love myself more and sometimes I love myself less but there's some level of love that that's always there. The same with my relationships. I was in a, a romantic partnership for 10 years. And there were some days where I, I felt like I was at 100. I, was, I couldn't imagine loving this person any more deeply. I was loving them with every cell of my being. And then there were other days. It's like, ah, they're on my nerves. Oh. I feel like I want to just, just, just like, ah. <laughs> and on those days, on, on those days where that love number is at a, a 20 or whatever it is, I can sit in that and say, this is all over. I'll never love them again. I'll, this will never actually be back to the heights that it ever was. Could get, I could do that. Or, and, and this was what actually happened most often, it's, it's what's necessary to keep a healthy relationship for 10 years. On those, those days, we go back into, okay, how can, can we choose to find our way back to, e to each other? How can we choose to love each other through this? How can we find the love that we know is there? It's, it's the foundation of our um, of our relationship. Let me say, you know what? It's time we go on a date. I know we've been dating each other for eight years, but I mean like, let's go out. Let's have date night. Let's reconnect. Oh, you know what? We've been so busy that we haven't actually connected physically in a while. Um, so let's set aside like two or three, four hours tonight so that we can connect physically, light a candle, take a bath together, whatever it might be. I, for 10 years, 11 years of my life, was in the inquiry of how do I keep my relationship strong with my girlfriend? And yet I didn't turn that perspective on myself and my relationship to myself. 
I didn't think, what what is my body calling for? Do I feel connected to my body? Do I feel in love with my body? I didn't think, you know, what what can I do to increase the amount of fun? Because I'm not I'm not feeling like a fun person. I'm not feeling like I'm having a lot of fun. And um, my soul is calling for that. I wasn't consciously dating myself. I wasn't choosing to to honor all the various aspects of of a relationship with myself, the physical aspects, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual. And so over the last six months or so, I have poured into my self-love practices and I've done so from a very conscious place of saying, okay, I get to do physical things, mental things, emotional, spiritual things. And some days I feel like I need the physical and some days I feel like I need the mental. I'm listening. I'm in observation of what's going on internally. I'm paying attention to this relationship. And the areas that need the most growth, the areas that need the most attention, that's that's where I, I point my attention. That's where I point my focus. Because we can be um, in a general state of relationship with ourselves and say, okay, I'm just gonna love myself generally by doing these things. Or we can get really refined and specific and say, right now, the last week has been really tough on me physically. So I feel as if I can take a couple days and, and really love up on me physically. I can go get a massage. I can take a bath. I can stretch a lot more. I can go exercise. And, and um, that nuance, that refinement, that real specific attention that you can uh, put into this, this relationship is going to raise that self-love number more and more and more because you're giving your body exactly what you need. And even the the um, act of doing that is an act of listening to yourself. And that act of listening to yourself is um, a reinforcement to your brain, your unconscious, your conscious, to your soul that you're worth listening to that your needs will be met, that you will be honored. And that creates this powerful feedback loop. I'm worth being listened to. I'm gonna be honored, my needs are gonna be met. And then the actions taken to actually do that thing and the process of doing that thing feels so good and fills you up. And that happens over and over and over, day by day by day and becomes a habit. And before you know it, you've developed this this incredibly deep, powerful, meaningful relationship with yourself through the process of dating yourself. And from there, the result of that are deeper levels of self-love. Your self-love spectrum, that sliding scale, that number jumps. And it might jump slowly from a 12 to a 13 and a 13 to a 14 and a 14 to a 15, but day by day by day, it will jump. And it doesn't mean you'll never come back down to a 12. Maybe you will on certain days when something happens and you're you're in that low, low space, but your default, your average continues to rise. Love becomes a habit that you pour into you each and every day. This is, the, this is the journey of dating yourself. This is the journey of self-love. It's a practice. It's a skill that you get to develop by your way of being. It's not a chore. It's an honor. It's a privilege. Same way that you're like, wow, I get to go on a date with that person. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. You get to have that with you. And when you have that with you, think about how special that is because you are with you every single moment of every single day. There's nothing more important than developing the kind of relationship where that, that person you're with every single day, you're deeply, madly in love with yourself. So do it. Start it. 
Let this not just go in one ear and out the other. Let this inspire different actions in your life to deepen your self-love. If you'd like support with that, I've created a five days of dating yourself um, journey that's completely free. You can go to love.adamroa.com to sign up for that. It's completely free. Five videos sent to you each day with exercises that you can do. And if you want to go even deeper beyond that, I have a new online course, a video course that I've created, taking the most powerful questions that I've received about self-love from all of you and created a course answering those questions and giving you tangible exercises and actions you can take each and every day, simple, simple ones that you can develop this practice, you can develop this relationship with yourself and learn to love yourself more deeply because when you do, the world will reflect that to you. You will have more abundance financially, romantically, in your friendships, in your your play, in your fun, in your creativity. All of that will up-level as a result of this work. I promise you that. I don't make promises. I don't make guarantees very often, but I know I've seen it. I haven't seen a single example of someone who really dives into this process that doesn't see their life up level in beautiful ways. It's worth it. And you can start simply a little bit of time each and every day because you get to make you a priority. You're worth that. So have fun. Have fun dating yourself. Get a little naughty. (laughs) I want to remind you that always, in always, you are seen, you are heard, and you are loved.